Well, BlackBerry is betting big on artificial intelligence. The company announced it will purchase a California-based cybersecurity firm for $1.8 billion. So joining me with more today is BNN's John Ehrlichman. Thanks for being here, John. Thanks, Maria. Uh, so how surprising is this purchase? Well, we knew BlackBerry was going to do something. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget, I mean, this once iconic company here in Canada, at one point with the most valuable company, everybody had a BlackBerry. They had to retool. They basically lost out to the Apples and the Googles, and they've right. really focused on the software behind those phones that made them successful to begin with, the security. So they've been putting it everywhere, and now they're looking to amp that up, win more business. So this is kind of a cool deal. They acquired an artificial intelligence company mm -hmm. that is monitoring smartphones and tablets all the time to see if there's a cybersecurity threat. They're paying more than one and a half billion dollars, and the reason they're doing that is they can go to their customers, who are really businesses these days, and say, hey, we've got secure software, we've got more stuff we can offer you, and they're hoping this is going to be the road to success for the future for them. Okay, so we, we were chatting earlier, and tech stocks you were saying have been down. Yeah. Do you think this is going to have any impact? You know, that's been the momentum right now. Mm -hmm. Markets have been under pressure over the last couple of weeks, and one of the things that people have been doing is selling a lot of these high-flying technology stocks. They've had huge moves this year. We talked about Amazon and Apple reaching a trillion dollar valuation. So BlackBerry's been caught up in that as well. So I guess we'll see if this changes the narrative around technology stocks in the market these days. Yes, we'll keep watching that for sure. Thanks for joining us Thanks today. For you. And you can continue to follow the story on BNN Bloomberg as well.